Uganda's political climate has been one of tension since incumbent Yoweri Museveni was re-elected. Supporters of top opposition candidate Kiza Besije disagreed with the results and clashed with police who were accused of using heavy-handed tactics to break up the opposition gatherings and confrontations with civil society groups. However, the political landscape in Uganda is changing and now there are many active youth legislators who are becoming more involved in their communities. And joining me here in the studio are two of those youth members of parliament, Oscar Omoni Otema, representing the North, and Ishma Mafabi, who represents the eastern part of Uganda. Welcome to Africa 54. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Oscar, let me start with you, because the community where you come from, especially the youth, have endured years of untold suffering under the uh, rebel Lord's Resistance Army. What is the situation like today? Is the, has this changed at all? Well, thank you so much. Uh, the situation uh, of late has changed so much. Um, definitely the earlier war took uh, the toll in northern Uganda. About 20 years ago, so many young people were in the camps, but today we see the young people are more engaged in development, developmental activities and uh, we see them engaging in agriculture. We see the youth now getting out of camps, as we see to late today. Ishma, turning to you from yes. Eastern Uganda, mm -hmm. where your constituency is located, it has also taken a dip, actually, with reports especially of land grabbing in that part of the country. What is being done and what is your plan to tackle this vice? Yes, uh, very well, thank you so much. And um, upon the topic, uh, his Excellency, the newly elected uh, President of Uganda, uh, he has made sure that uh, he emphasizes an enforcement of laws upon uh, land grabbing and uh, any issues related to land. And uh, the main issue that, uh, that I could actually say or hint about is that um, he has actually involved himself personally and um, to see how maybe if I could say his children are doing, uh, the children of the nation, and to be able to address to them. and. Uh, as far as now uh, into the parliament or as legislators when we get time or when we sit into parliament, we have to actually, there is a bill that has been passed on and right now it's being reviewed. Again, uh, Oscar, turning to you, going back to the LRA, the displacement, of course, like we said, uh, has, you know, made so many people, uh, so many people have been displaced by this. And when you look at the youth who are recruited to fight alongside the LRA, uh, have you been able to kind of have programs to integrate them back into the society? Or what's going on with the youth around that region? Well, the youth in northern Uganda, uh, if you compare the, uh, the young people of northern Uganda and you compare them with the eastern and central and maybe western, they are still behind in regards to education, in regards to the way they live their lives. But the government has come through. We have brought, we have brought the program called the Youth Livelihood Program, where we give these youth uh, some money to do agricultural activities. And we, they're trying to engage in uh, more skillful development activities. And we see them now coming out of that uh, situation of uh, the LRA. Mm -hmm. And again, Isham, uh, in eastern Uganda, landslides, the reports yes. of landslides almost every other you know, season yes. uh, has been one of the biggest challenges there. How is mm -hmm. this being taken care of? Is there a way to get out of that problem and save the communities who are losing homes, losing their lives, mm -hmm. and so much? All right, uh, thank you for that. Um, actually, that's a very interesting topic in Eastern Uganda. And um, as far as right now, if I could say the peak of uh, the late or the mid 2015, uh, it has been addressed to the fullest. Um, as I had said also earlier, the president and uh, the reason as to why the power is given to him, it's because he has had this personal engagement into this and uh, to make sure that everything is settled and um, my reports, the reports that I get onto my desk as far as health concerns and uh, land issues are concerned in, my, in that area in Bugisu, Bugisu region in eastern Uganda. Um, it is positive. Uh, right now, uh, the donations are there, and mattresses, uh, relocations from the place, and security measures have been improvised as mm -hmm. far as maintaining um, no loss of life. Now, turning to the political uh, scenario in Uganda, which everybody expects us to talk about, and I'm going to give you just a few seconds each to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, as the 
members of parliament who are said to be the youthful members of parliament. How are you working to change the political scenario that has been one of chaos since February when the elections were held? Oscar, starting with you. Oh, that's, that's a very interesting one. Uh, I, I know out here in the world, people really look at Uganda as a, a country where there's a lot of political turmoil or maybe the opposition is being suppressed, but that's not true. Um, what are you do, going to do? Because I'm running out of time. How uh, are you changing the scenario? Well, what we're, what we're trying to change uh, with, the, with the whole scenario is we, we're trying to talk to the young people uh, to change the mindsets on the way they look at political and how the politics of the country runs. Mm. Just to chip in a Ishmael. little with my dear brother here, um, the political side has really changed to the greater good. Um, the politics of today is different from the politics of yesterday. Um, the way issues are handled, they're not very different, but just how people anticipate them or how they approach the answers to them. Um, he, they're actually, the election to his uh, position that he managed to attain, uh, as my brother said earlier, it was not, um, in, how can I say, forced. So you think that the youth in parliament are going to change how this country shapes up in politics in the, in the near future? Oh, yeah. yes, All yes. right, thank, thank you, you, gentlemen. Oscar Omoni Otema is Northern Uganda Youth Member of Parliament and Ishma Mafabi is Youth Member of Parliament for Eastern Uganda.